Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Uh, other guy. Ah. Well, we're going to try another day of uh, video. See how it works today. Actually, this is just going to be a trial video right now. And it really isn't uh, uh, a, a good trial because actually sometimes you'll you'll be able to upload uh, shorter videos, but then when you try to get into a longer video, it won't upload. So even though this is a bit of a test, it may not be a very good test for a long video. Um, a lot of interesting things have happened over the last couple of days. Things that I wanted to share with you yesterday, but was what was prevented from doing so. I uh, I let go and let God yesterday. It, it, these things, what God would have be said and understood, uh, it will get to you, one way or the other. <laughs> He's able to bring it to you through others. Uh, even to yourself, like we've shared before, that you're studying the Word of God, amen, the Holy Spirit speaks to you, helps to unveil something to you, somebody, a lot of people are here a lot, uh, under a, a lot of false impressions <laughs> regarding me, because they really haven't spent the time to actually uh, view the videos from the beginning to the end. And they lack a little understanding in Scripture, excuse me, uh, regarding the uh, spirit of Elijah and the work and the will of the Father regarding that, okay? Just as there was a forerunner to the Lord when he came in the natural, it's my belief that there will also be a forerunner to the body of Christ and or sons and daughters of God prior to their appearance. So... Uh, in the spirit of Elijah, so <coughs> which is written in the scriptures, <laughs> but uh, they didn't receive John too well, and they sure didn't receive the Lord too well. Uh, <coughs> make straight the way of the Lord. I keep trying to share with you, Amen, Jesus. The natural advent of the Lord was as a type. To the spiritual, just like natural Israel is a type of that which would come to us. So, somewhere in this head, it's going to dawn on you. Oh, you mean as it was in the beginning, so shall it be at the end of the church age. That's right. <laughs> As it was in the beginning, with John coming before the Lord, so shall it be in the end, in the spirit of Elijah, that a son comes before the bride, or the sons and daughters coming forth, which is a type of Jesus. Okay. Oh, Father. Uh... I'm not going to say anything about my Nancy, my sister Nancy. <laughs> just had a dream about a broken foot. I say I'm not going to say anything, but I, I can't, I can't, I can't help myself, you know. Uh, it's just, uh, it is a bloody mess. Amen, <laughs> Jesus. You need to read about Miriam, and I don't think it was Miriam. I'm not sure what Moses' wife's name was. Uh, Miriam, I thought I thought was his uh, sister, but uh, nonetheless, in scriptures, she's there cutting the feet of Moses. That'd be an interesting study for somebody, you know. Now, whatever and wherever feet are mentioned in the Word of God, check it out. Check it out. Uh, Moses's feet and her cutting, which is like the flesh. Okay, and the blood, okay, uh, that comes forth, all right, amen. There's a connection there between that and the body of Christ, that the, the robes were covered in blood. So, and there's, you know, same with the washing of the feet. 
I mean, a lot of people still in this cardinal thinking thought that uh, Jesus uh, knelt down to wash the apostles' feet or the disciples' feet at that time. They weren't apostles, they were disciples. Uh, to show humility. And I ain't saying that he didn't. But the Lord didn't do anything in the natural realm in his natural advent that wasn't spiritually pertinent to our growth spirit. Okay. As a, it's a natural type of a spiritual truth. Not only did he speak it, but he walked it. He acted it out. He acted out, okay, uh, in his existence, in his everyday life, as an example of that which would come to us. So, Peter got it. Peter got it. You know, oh, worse all of me, okay. Well, why would Peter respond like that if there wasn't something more regarding the washing of the water of the Word of God upon our feet, understanding, okay, or foundation, all right? Amen? So, but all you can do is try to help people. And if you don't think the vast majority of them are going to come against this and anything regarding it, then you really don't understand that the same religious hypocrites and Pharisees that existed back then exist today. And few are they who shall find it. And you still want to be in agreement with five or six other people out here. And you know, if you find two or three that will give a witness or an amen, you've done good. Okay, and then it's only going to be in part here and there now and then. All right? But to have a group of people <laughs> kind of feeding off of one and each uh, one another, look out. <laughs> I love you, Lord be with you and bless you. We'll see if this one uploads. Amen? Amen.